Hello, everyone, and welcome to the Bayside Podcast Campus Conversations. Today, we have some co hosts, Riley and Finley. Hey, you going? What's up? And also, we have a very awesome guest, Lee McCarthy, a star in Neighbours and a new crime thriller series on Stan called Scrublands. Tell us about yourself, Liam. Oh, wow. I, first of all, I'd like to say thank you, Loki, for writing that exceptionally uh, on it. I, I don't know. I'm, I'm flattered by what you've written down here in, in the opening spiel. Well, thank you for so, your... your um. Yeah, I really appreciate it. No? Yeah. Um, in my introduction, my name's Liam McCarthy. I'm a Central Victorian born boy. I've got... I'm one of six. Um, I've Are got, you? I've, really? Yeah, oh. I've, got, I've got five siblings. Older um, or younger? I'm the second youngest, so I'm one of the babies. Ooh. Okay, wow. So my, my, I basically grew up in the 80s because my siblings are much older than I was, which was a fun experience. I don't know if that's um, how that works. No, well, it doesn't. Cause, but, you know, have you got older siblings? Yeah, I got one. <coughs> one brother. How old? Uh, uh, three years older. <laughs> Do you feel like you, when you were younger, you you looked, you sort of, you sort of looked at the older one and like, wow, well, truly, you just go, that's what they, I'm going to do yeah. what they're doing, and yeah. just follow that. So mm. I sort of had that experience, uh, yeah, but yeah. I was right down the bottom. So my older sister was, you know, much older yeah. than me. So I sort of yeah. looked at that. But yeah, I'm from a town called Heathkit, um, and I'm a, uh, I did my building apprenticeship. I came to Melbourne, did a building apprenticeship. And really? I was a chippy. Ooh. I'm a chippy for a while. I run my own chippy business on the side while I support myself doing acting. Wow. That's really cool. That's wow. Really good. Um, I, wow. I yeah. like that. Um, nice. Yeah. Well, you know, it, it is, it sounds, it sounds pretty cool, but it's, it's just a bit of downright hard work a lot of the time. Mm, yeah. Um, and so, yeah, I run that on the side and that's what makes me available to be able to do auditioning, which if I, I haven't mentioned that yet. So, I'm, I'm an actor and about 26, 27, I came back from overseas. I was backpacking overseas and I came back and I ran out of excuses and I've always wanted to be an actor and then I just took myself to acting school and started the process and now I'm five years down the track and I'm 32 and things are heading in the right direction. As you said, the neighbours and the yads and the scrublands and all those things are all happening now. And um, I'm trying not to go on and on and on, but I think I've wrapped it up pretty well. That, yep, you've yeah, done a wrap. I, yeah. I also think it's kind of the point to go on and on. Really. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We we want to hear your voice. We yeah. want. Uh, yeah, oh, yes, so we you're right. Yeah, like um, mentioning ASMR channel. Yeah, yeah, just yeah. before. Oh, but the um, you know, yeah. So yeah, I'm an I'm a carpenter turned actor, and um, I use use the carpentry work to sort of float myself through life. Um, so I'm available for all the, all the auditions and every opportunity that can come. I can be completely available for it because I sort of run my own ship and I can call my own hours and things like that. I respect that. That's really cool. Yeah, That's actually really cool. Thanks, man. Yeah. Um, and yeah, so what else to add? Um, I'm a Collingwood supporter. Oh, yes. Yeah, I know. Yes. Yeah. 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 Wow. Right. How do we feel about that, boys? Not awesome. Great. Amazing. I don't follow you, the footy. You, you, neither <laughs> Collingwood. No, you you go for Collingwood. Yeah, all the way. I've followed Collingwood. All my life. You have since. Are you just saying October. that because I'm here? No, absolutely not. Are you saying that because they won? No. Uh, yeah. No, no, they did win, and I was. Um, they shouldn't have won. Let's that. be clear, though. That yeah. should have been a free kick, I reckon. Yeah. Free kick. Look, to be honest, I sort of. Yeah, I don't know. You guys are obviously right into football. Are you into football? No, I'm not into it at all. Don't yeah, even I'm follow anything. Football. I'm no. just. I'm. No, I'm indifferent. I, I purposely remove myself. I'm the same as you now, man. I've lost my touch. I don't. I, when I was young, I was like, ah, oh, gospel. But now I'm like, mm, yeah. not the jam. I just yeah. like watching it with my grandparents. I don't even. I barely to follow it at all. I just watch, yeah. I just watch do, the grand final. Who would you identify with? Though, oh, I'm a doggies fan. Okay, through and through. Because yeah. you grew up, you grew yeah, up in the west, western suburbs. <laughs> yeah, man, hundred yeah. well, percent. Fair enough. Mate. Fair enough. All my friends who I, I moved down to Melbourne who are from the west all go. Yeah. Yeah, it's a sort of a thing. Locals, I think. Right? Yeah. yeah. No, fair, fair. But um, just, uh, yeah, we're, we're often a bit of a boy's tangent here. So um, I'll, I'll redirect us back on track, boys. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. All right. Um, <laughs> so uh, why don't we move on to some questions now? Because obviously we're very glad to have you on the show. Yeah. Uh, what knowledge about the acting industry did you gain from being on the set of Neighbours? You know, your first sort of gig. First was, rodeo, yeah. Yeah, what was the first thing you gained? Uh, the first, so the first bit of knowledge that I gained was that it's fast paced. Um, that set, if we're speaking specifically about neighbor sets, it's fast paced. It moves quick. Um, you've got to be prepared, and you've got to walk in. You've got to do your job, um, and then you've got to get out of there. You've got to know your your role, and you've got to listen, and then you've got to do your part, hit your beats, hit your hit your marks, and then and then and and ditch. get out of there. And yep. but that's I think that's an important an integral part of um, filmmaking is that. Because filmmaking is a process. 
Yeah, and I said yeah. this before. It's, yeah. a, it's very much a process and you, you've got to do your best to be a part of that process as best you can. Yeah, fit in. That's yeah. the thing about filmmaking is there's so many moving parts. So mm. as an actor, being prepared and doing your role, getting the job, doing the job, and then that's it really. Yeah, and then yeah. hop out. And then, yeah. Yeah, fair, fair, fair. Um, yeah. yeah. But so many – It's, it's uh, that's one thing, man. But like being on that, you learn so – there's, there's a million and one things that you just pick up on. Yeah. You just see happening around mm. you. You see how people are working and what's happening and you can't help but learn, you know? Yeah, yeah. No, yeah. That makes sense. Um, yeah. Just absorb things. Are there any things like misconceptions cleared up for you or – even still things you don't understand being on a set like that? Yeah, yeah, 100%. There's a, there will always be that. Well, for me at this point in my journey, there will always be questions because it's such an it's such an intricate process. Mm, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Industry is very large as well. and Yeah, well, yeah. So there's always things to learn, man. I've answered that. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's, that's beautiful. That's awesome. That is exactly what we're looking for. Great. Yeah. Got, a, got, right. a, got another A+, plus, did I? Yeah, A+. Plus. Mm. Very good. Yeah, I'll, uh, I'll ask a new question here. Uh, well, not really new, sort of going off what Riley was saying, mm-hmm. but um, what were the sets of Neighbours and Scrublands like? How does it sort of differ from anything you've done before or since? Yeah, since. and like where? Where are they? I'm really I'm really interested. Where? Yeah. I oh. would love to say where – well, Neighbours neighbors is shot um, out in Nunawadding, a set of Neighbours in the Nunawadding studios yeah, and right. everything's set there. And so excited because I love na- like I love neighbors. I love the opportunity that it's given me, and I love being a part of it. I'm so happy that it's been brought back, um, mm. and I'm so grateful to be a part of it. Yeah, and did it sort of kickstart things for you? Because uh, was that your first like majorish sort of role in film and TV? Uh, yeah, 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 for sure. Okay, yeah, yep. yeah, definitely. Yeah, um, awesome. But with Scrublands, because it's such a, an amazing show, and you all should take the time to go home. If you wrote, if you however yep. you got to school today, go go back home and put Scrublands on because it's a brilliant, it's a brilliant TV show. And I I've, don't want to. I've seen the first episode. It's out on stand, guys. Oh, Just really? everyone at home, yeah. please watch it. It's actually really good. I watched it. It's um, really good. But Scrublands, I, I don't want to. Um, yeah, because uh, it's only just coming out. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. Yep. Stay away from it. Yeah, fair enough. Yeah, second season on the way. I would hope so. Yeah, okay. because it was, right. it was. Yeah. Were you like? Did you time in mentioned acting school before? I know we haven't talked about this on this, but did any connections from there sort of influence your? Journey to Neighbours. Yeah, journey to neighbors. that is the um, that is the direct link to getting Neighbours. Yeah, right. so direct well, we link. A, well, well, we had a casting night um, in uh, it was about 2021, I think, and um, yeah, you know, important people were there, and, and I was able to do something in front of them that was somewhat impressive. Yeah, and that's how my in came in to be a part of the Neighbours. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Awesome, very, awesome. Very cool. Yeah, so that's sort of my question sort of leads on from that. How do you get your acting opportunities and how did you and do you grow your skills? Like what's, what, how does management and agents, how do they work with in the acting industry? It's all through my agent. They put you forward for things. They find certain roles and certain specific different things that suit you. And yeah, you know, like that's the way through it. I, I don't tend to, it's not, it's never from me. The industry people, yeah. you know. Would you say that you would have to get a management team member or an agent before you start doing major things or do you think you could go off some by yourself sort like partially? Uh, yeah, you absolutely can go off partially, but um, if you want to get major major things, you sort of you got to go and get yourself a, an agent and yeah. b- develop a relationship with an agent. Um, you've got to then, you've got to get somebody that knows more, like knows well, the, people. Yeah, and then knows the industry, knows the casting yeah. agents and things like that. So yeah, yeah, yeah that that's probably that's the way forward. I would say <laughs> definitely, yeah. Um, yeah, okay. But you know that's not to say that's not to sh- that's not to show any sh- throw any shade on you know because there's there's platforms like Star Now have you heard of Star Now before yeah yeah, yeah there's yeah. platforms like Star Now that you can go on and there's the right fit and there's just starting your own work and things like that and that that also has a lot of merit and that's sort of how I got started as well I started with those sort of things and um, yeah you know that's a way in as well yeah mm. yeah yeah okay so lots of pathways and lot, there's lots of things need to go right if I'm like mm. putting this together correctly so lots of things need to go right to get a good role. In a major mm, TV mm, show or, mm, or a movie, yeah, mm, mm, for sure. Yeah, okay. Yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah, yeah. Well, yeah, that's 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 why when you book a role, it's such an elation. Yeah, because it's so difficult. Yeah, you know? yeah, and, true. Yeah, yeah. So many people are going for it, and you know, there's constant no's and constant, um, mm. you know. Yeah, yeah. So that's why it's when you book a role or you get something, it's a real <sighs> moment. Yeah, 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 yeah. It would feel really good. I'm guessing. Yeah, it's amazing. Would you would yeah. know, Mister Star Robin Hood. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, Finley did star in uh, the school's Robin Hood uh, show. So thank you to everyone at home that came to watch that. Well, not yes. at home because you came into the theatre, but yeah. Yeah, well, yeah. And yeah. It, is it on YouTube yet? 
no, no, uh, no, I can't disclose this information. information. Oh, yeah, of course. Sorry, sorry. Um, I'm on an uh, NDA. Liam. Yes. Uh, well, yes. <laughs> when you're acting, do you take inspirations from outside sources in your life? Like um, you mentioned most recently your character in Scrublands was a lot more of a blank canvas for you. How do you sort of find inspiration for that? Well, trend? I grew up in the country, right? Yeah. Oh, uh, I, I met, love this. I met, uh, for Jay, if we're talking about my character specifically, I can't say too much because of course. because I want you, the reason why I want to say too much, boys, is because I want you to watch it. All right, well. Yeah. I'm convinced. Uh, I'm not going to lie. I want yeah. you to watch it because it's a it's a great. And I want you to pick up, pick up, and watch Neighbours again because the the storylines there are going, they're, they're fantastic. So I don't want to say too much. Mm. Um, but the character that Jason was, I grew up with that bloke. Like I've seen him a hundred times growing yeah. up. I knew what he that sort of that operator who. Uh, yeah, I grew up with that type of person. So when it came to doing the role, I just it was so close to me because mm. I I'd already seen that type of person mm, growing yeah. up. Yeah, and that would really help. It was really help, you know. Yeah. And we, you can't help but I think you know as we're all humans, like you can't help but notice things like that. And yeah, we all can't. We all notice. What, yeah. We all have our own life experience. Yeah, and we pick up different things from our environments. And yeah. I suppose within acting, you sort of regurgitate and manipulate that into mm. something that works for you specifically mm. and works for whatever TV show, movie that you're mm. acting in. Mm, mm. Well, speaking of what works for you specifically, do you have any particular sort of processes you do beforehand or during? You know, like, show? I tell you what, I had to go to acting school. Yeah. I had to put myself through, and I'll get to your point, that's mm -hmm. a good question. I had to go to acting school. I had to learn the theories. I had to um, learn all the different strategies and, and acting techniques so I could just completely forget about them because, you know, you, you, you sort of build up your own craft. And, yeah, okay, um, yep. And then, you, yeah. you know, you can go from there. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, yeah going, okay. Going off uh, making your own craft and that, have you ever considered possibly being a writer or producer for a show? Or no, no, I, I, I got uh, Effie's um, sent me this question, and I read it last night. And I think to you know live a good life, you got to sort of just follow what you're passionate about. Yeah. Okay. Yep. And yep. I'm not passionate about writing and directing and producing. I'm passionate about acting. I love acting yeah. and I love films. Um. So yeah, I you know it's like singing or dancing and things like that. I'm not overly passionate about them. Okay. Um, yep. Yeah. No. So, fair enough. Yeah. Yeah. But fair I enough. Love films, and I love. Yeah. I love. Yeah. I love it. No I desire mean, so for musicals. Sorry? No desire for a musical? Not, not overly, no. Nah, yeah, no. Yeah. yeah, we're all musical kids here, so. Yeah. Well. Yeah. 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 No, that's cool. Yeah. Yeah. Well, like, yeah. What have you guys done before? <sighs> Been everything, you know? Yeah. yeah. Real. Yeah. Dabble here. Mm. So Quality works of art, really. We've really branched out in our... Quality. Uh, yes. Oh, yeah. 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 Um, yeah, no, so... So last year we did the Cluedo musical for our school. Um, we all had pretty significant roles. No, nope, I was you, a soldier. You weren't even in it, couldn't you? I was. Oh, you <laughs> I was a soldier. That's how insignificant well, my was character it was. Tawny? Well, there you go. Yeah, Private Tawny. There we go. Anyway, yeah. So going on from what you were saying with making your own craft, I played the detective. And so I had sort of seen, I don't know, detective movies back in the day. Mm. Not back in the day. When I, I've, as I've been growing up, I've seen funny Scottish people on TV, uh, such mm -hmm. as from Austin Powers. Mm -hmm. And I've seen detectives. And so I merged them together, made my own craft, and I was playing a funny detective. Uh, your face is screwing up no, right no, now. No, 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 no. I'm yeah? just curious to know. Yeah. I'm, no, 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 no. Don't read my no, face. No, 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 no. I'm, I'm, um, yeah, so continue. Um, yeah. No, that's basically it. Like, And how'd you go? What was your process? My process was just nail the accent, first uh -huh, of all. Uh -huh. So the voice. For start the voice. With the voice. Yep. So I'm the detective inspector. Degree. I'm going into it again. That's so, great. And then... I would sort of try to match my pose to that of like an old man. So I had a yeah. bit of a, a beer belly going. I had a pillow yeah. in my stomach yeah, and yeah. I was using that to um, push me into the right direction in terms of acting as a fine-tuned detective as I could. Yep. And then, you know, merging all that together to make my um, my role. And so I feel like that's what you've done with... Yeah, it's what, it, it's what I mean by is you go learn all the techniques and you go learn all the different things and you pick and choose what you want yep. and then you just go from there. Yep. Um, yeah. Yeah, awesome. I was able to turn that back from me back onto our guest star that was good good job <clears throat> yeah. Mr. Host uh, yeah so are there any things that you do to measure success in your acting roles like how do you know you've succeeded as a role how do you know you've created that role as well as you can we well, don't you don't it's not, you just, your, it's not up to you it's up to the audience okay that's you know, a good that's, that's a good answer i like not, that answer it's not you, you never know that's the creative process that's the creative pursuit you never okay. know you never know if you've no nah, and also that's also a limited thing too so if you think that you've gotten there and you've gotten and you've caught the rainbow you, you haven't you've completely missed the point yeah. wow yeah. okay way. it's like when you go into an audition and you go i'm going to get this right i'm going to get this right i'm going to get this right 100 percent you're getting it wrong wow wow 
definitely. Wow, yeah, okay. it's an objective. It's, thing, an, it's it? yeah, it's not like it's not a sport. Okay, it's different. It's completely yeah. different. It's it's operating on a different level. You can't go if I do this many push ups and this many sit ups, I probably lead this many lines and this many things. It equals this. It's not how it works. And also, the character doesn't live in you. It lives in the audience. Yeah. yeah. Wow. It that resonates. It, it, yeah. It's not you. It's what the audience sees. It's the most important thing. So if you're talking about yourself and you know that you've gotten there, you can be sort of God. I, I hope I'm not. No. Um, say, you know, this is all a bit hoogily, you know, <laughs> no. airy fairy, but it's kind of how I feel about it, you know, like, yeah, it's kind of how I feel about it because at times where I've got it right, I'm not thinking about getting it right. Yeah. Because mm. the times that you're going, oh, I'm, getting, I'm nailing this, I'm nailing this, yeah, it takes you, it's such a funny thing because it takes you away from, it's like when an acting teacher told me once, he's like, acting's like, don't think about a purple elephant. What do you think about right now? Oh, oops. You think purple about a purple elephant, elephant. Middle of the room. It's like, as soon as you start to think about the actual, you're taken away from the actual work. Yeah. yeah. It's gone. Yeah. So it's sort of, yeah, that's my answer to that, if that makes sense. Yeah. Just too personal, too subjective to mm. have a, you know, confidence. Yeah. In yeah. 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 And, well, and it's also the focus, I would imagine. Like, if you're focusing on just, I'm going to nail this, and then you go out and you sort of, all confident, I'd imagine that would impact your performance in a way because you don't feel, do you have to, do you put yourself in the emotional shoes of the characters you play? Do you have to? Yeah, of course. Yeah, you just, but the character you're playing is also just you. Like you can't, like you're not, Okay. you're not, and it's never a far away from just you. Like you are, it's like, for example, like I play a, a paramedic on Neighbours. Yep. But you put me in a paramedic outfit and point a camera at me, you go, there's a paramedic on Neighbours. Like you, it's, it's you, it's just you. Yeah, right. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, okay. Yeah. Yep. Okay. It is that, yeah, you don't have to, and your, so your emotional um, range is, is the character's emotional range. Like it's, mm. it's never too far away from just you. That's really interesting because I've heard oh, yeah. people talk about the opposite. Like I've heard people like just well, my character. Mates and stuff. It's different. There's different approaches. There's 101 different approaches, but I feel like that one works for me. Is like yeah. a, I don't try to take it away from just me. Yeah. Okay. It's one on one. You know, it's not like other oh, character. Because there's two types of actors, as far as I'm concerned. There's two types of actors: there's character actors and there's personality actors. Okay. I probably resonate with being a personality actor at this point. Okay. Right. That makes sense. Okay. Yeah, actually. Wow. Yeah. My I, character actors, the best character actors in the world are like Daniel Day-Lewis and um, Batman. What's he? Uh, sorry. Uh, oh, I wish I could Christian Bale. Christian Bale. There, yeah, there's been yeah. a lot of them, yeah. Yeah, so they're, they're two types of actors that are mm. the way I see it, yeah. That's really interesting because that's what I've sort of, I've always sort of thought about that because I've sort of dabbled in making films as well as, you know, um, drama, theater, theatrical performances. And I've sort of always sort of been drawn to more the personality side of things as well. And when people told me like, oh, you need to put your brain in the mind of the character and like, you need to change, you need to be that character. You, What you said with just changing- Just your, being yourself. Being yourself, but that part yeah, of your you, personality. So it's like, you're like, you've got to become this character, but it removes it from you. Yes, mm. exactly. I could never do that. Do you see my point? So yeah. it's like, I'm playing this character, I'm playing this character, but when it, when the magic happens, it's right on top of you. Mm. Yeah. Does that make sense? Yeah, yes. makes, it makes a lot of sense. Yes. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. yeah, okay. That's awesome. That is that was a very good yeah, um, discussion. Well, you know, I've I've spent a lot of time in classrooms, boys. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yep, yep. Yeah. <laughs> very educated. Thank you. <laughs> Um, so this is going to be a little bit. Uh, Can we okay. talk about this? I, feel I, like, I don't know. I, what is this? What are we talking about? Yeah. So my question, right? I last night I was doing some research, right? I oh watched, no! Yeah, as you did. I, I, I actually. Scrublands, but I, I don't think I don't want to talk too much about that. You were saying talk about my character on Scrublands and is he in, is he in cahoots and all these things with the antagonist and all that sort of things. I I don't want, I want to sort of steer. Yes, yeah, no, that's clear completely that, fair. That's completely and, fair. And all those types of things that'd be much appreciated. All right, because I don't. I, I, as I said, because I love the story so much, I yeah. really want to. Don't want to take any shine away from it. Um, and all the work. Well, if we can pick apart the questions, maybe like um, yeah, look. maybe not talking about that, but uh, when you are doing a role like that, how much of the story do they tell you? How clear is that to you? Well, you, not to be direct to the. Um, you, to you hide, get you, know? you get um. It depends what, how much you want to know because you'll get the script. Yeah. Uh, so I guess it makes sense. Do right? you just get the script? Uh, but then do, do people give you background information that would aid you in acting in a certain way? No, it's your... Then you, yeah, it's, just, it's an interesting question. Like how do the directors and the agency portray that role to you to get you to act in a certain way? Well, they don't portray the role to you. You've got it. You're the actor. Mm. So you've got to portray the role to them. Yeah. Okay. Mm. Yeah. So they just say, what do they say to As, get what they need? 
well, they don't say anything. You've got to give them what they need. That's how you get cast. But do they say you were a middle aged man doing this? Ah, uh, well, profession you'll get so you'll get a you'll get a you'll get a brief. Okay. On, on the character. Yep. And you'll get a, a, a sides like a short sides, a couple of scenes. Okay. And then you've got to prepare those scenes, those sides, and put them forward. And you'll have a little bit of information about the character, and then you've got to do your interpretation, put your acting into it. That's what we have to do. So you be okay? can, yeah, is that you how can't. you guys did it? Yeah, yeah, you can't is. be too reliant on the director or that to help you with your character. You have to do it. Yeah. They wouldn't even would they help? I think no, the, I don't think they I would think help. I think in you. the begin in the casting process. Yeah, no, but well, in the director, but like when they're yeah. when they're yeah. shooting it, they rely on you to create the character and bring him to life. It's so subjective, man, though, because each mm. director is different. Mm. Yeah, mm. Do you see what I mean? You know what I mean? It's so yeah. it's so in the ether. it's the arts. It's the arts. It's the arts. Yeah. Like it's so different. You know, some some directors are point and shoot. Some some are actors, directors. Some are some are filmmaker directors. You just not you don't know, like yeah. You know. And the, it's all there's the, there's so many different ways to do it, and the, you know, yeah, it's great. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Wow. Okay. So I think I've gathered that you were very excited for your role in Scrublands. Yeah, man. Yeah. And my not no and my role on Neighbours, like no, yeah, like, okay, I, all of my roles, man. Like, yeah. Because as I said before, uh, I was excited for them all because when you book a job, it's really hard just to book a job. And when you start booking jobs, it's a, an absolute elation. Like you're, yeah. you're just like, yes. doesn't matter what it is. If it's wherever it is, it's it's getting a job is great. It's a great feeling. Yeah. Okay. Mm. Um, okay. If you don't mind, this is a little bit off script, but I'm sort of curious. How do you feel about how the industry has changed with all the new streaming services and stuff? It's less, I guess, studio based and it's more uh, not independent, but through a lot of different avenues on streaming services, shows, movies, stuff like that. Um, do you think there's been any change sort of going into the industry after COVID? Well, what do you guys reckon? I reckon that the, the t- change in quality. So yeah, same. I think TV's yeah. gotten really good. Mm. Yeah, I TV's reckon. TV's mm. great. There are a lot of but movies good have show. dropped a bit. Right. Movies have dropped a bit. Yeah, because, dropped a bit. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah, the really good directors, they're just they're just not really nothing going. Nothing they can into, engage with. Right. Yeah, nothing they can engage with. They're not going into the streaming services. They're sticking with the cinema mainly. Mm. Yeah, but and there I are a lot like of good shows. Like um, lots of good shows, but I feel like movies. I feel like the industry. We're talking about this a little bit before, but I feel like the the movie industry is very like washed out. In terms of they sort of Ideas. just do rinse and repeat, money makers oh, just yeah. try to get it right. Yeah, mm. yeah. There are movies I've I've seen a lot of streaming services where they've like brought back a show or movie and like either remade the story from the beginning or they're like extending from it. Yeah, and it's a really old story and it's just you think, do you really need to make this or? I guess that's more inflation with like yeah. all the remakes yeah. and mm. you know, reimaginings of movies yeah. and stuff, you know, poisoning the industry almost with. Yeah, yeah mm. but um, just acting in general has gotten better. Mm. You know, yes. Yeah, so so it's like the um the way people use the tech, how they like yeah. create the yeah. films. Yeah, well that's the thing. Like it's always been a it's always been a balance of like industry and then creativity. Because mm. the creativity I feel like resonates with individuals and sort of just creative people that want to make something right. Mm. But then what's commercially available is mostly the industry based yeah. stuff that the yeah. industry creates. And then and it's just unfortunate that there's never really much overlap between the directors and actors wanting to do those personal boom, projects. Done. Yeah. The industry mm. stuff. Yeah. Yeah, there's yeah. A, yeah. I feel like there's very little overlap. Yeah. Yeah, that's anything? why that's why um like Netflix and that is so um oversaturated with um yeah. all those mm. all devoid those. of creativity on yeah, yeah, well that's the thing, because the creativity lies with just everyday people. Yeah, like mm. the passion they have and yes. what they want to make. Yeah, like how many shows are like the voice or <sighs> stuff like that. There are so many like the, the Australia's got talent, all that stuff. Reality stuff. TV, man, that's a whole nother bag. Of yeah, that's a barrel whole of monkeys. Thing. I'm just going kick off, kick down the stairs. Yeah, reality <laughs> mm. TV. Mm. No, I, uh, I just think that we think one thing that's changed now is there's no with film and TV. There's no more big sets. Okay, the screen. So there's yeah, like, right. well, there is big sets, but there's not as many. You not think as about, practical. You, no, no, the big sets, as in, you know, the movie Gladiator yeah. or um, yeah. Interstellar. Film, Interstellar, that'd yeah. be all CGI. Oh, yeah, they had like big sets. Big, big sure. sets, as in like hundreds of people and they've built, they've built a whole yeah. building and yeah. things like that. A lot of it's CGI'd now and it's just yeah. changed. True. Changed in that direction. Yeah, mm. technology would have altered mm. a lot. Yep. How? Yeah, looking at all the films, practical mm. effects and yeah. stuff before mm. CGI is a lot. It's not more convincing, it's just differently stylized. Mm. That's why I mm. like. That's why I like a lot of the older films. It's easier to sort of connect mm. that almost. Yep, yep, yep. Yeah. It's more realistic. Um, kind of went off on a tangent there. Yeah, yeah. I sort of... Would, I might have to get going. Oh, of course. Yeah, unfortunately, sorry. Unfortunately, um, boys. <sighs> so, that uh, brings us to the end of the show. Great. Oh, well, I mean, we yeah. have two questions. How quick... Just, what, what was yeah, your we'll final just, question? There? Did you always act and partake in performing arts in school? Did you... All, so, your question was, did you always want to act? Did you partake in performing arts in school? No. I didn't take part in performing arts in school, but I was the class clown a lot of the time. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yep, I see. I was a big, yep. silly, big, silly idiot, and I was still... 
I'm a bit of a big silly idiot. I will probably always will be. Um, probably first. helps a lot with it. Yeah, yeah, it would help. Um, yeah. And um, finally, um, not sure who snuck this one in here, but uh, are your parents proud of you? I saw that question. I was. Yeah. I, I caught. Who <laughs> said? <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I said. You know, the yeah, thing that I got, the thing that I, the meaning I got from that is because of the nature of this. It's a bit of a it's a multifaceted question, but, but we 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 no we no mean the, well. the, the the nature of acting and the nature oh. of being in the performing arts is something that it's not building it's not it's not like lawyer like it's it's you know so I can yeah that's what there's I'm a saying. lot of people you know would resonate with that question because their parents would be on their tail to do something else mm. or, or be you know so that's where I sort of thought that question would derive from but yeah that sort is of where, that, that is, is where whoever wrote it who definitely is de- not talking right now it's a hobby it's, it's a hobby acting is meant to be a hobby you know it's not a lot for a lot of people so people who don't understand the arts or understand the performing arts are probably yeah I can understand that but yeah my parents are proud of me oh. okay that's yeah. good that's, that's good great. that's good yeah, yeah. yeah. excellent yeah. any way you wanted to answer that question you could answer so that's, yeah. that's good well they, I think you got all different types of answers there <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. different people different beautifully people. those are very good okay L- like very last thing I swear any last minute advice for anyone that wants to become an actor sort of going on for the last question anyone that um, what do you think what what parents doing? are disappointed in the many yeah. uh, <laughs> <laughs> any, is there what? any advice at all to giving to someone who wants to go on to be a, a performing an actor. Yeah, sorry. yeah. Um, just j- what's my advice is just do something. Is like you just start. Like you know, it's like if you want to be an actor or you want to do that, just do something. Go to class or just do something. Just don't sit on your hands. Okay. Yep. Don't sit on your hands. Just go do something. Just go do it. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Beautiful. Get out there yeah. and grab it. Beautiful. Yeah, yeah, it's been answer. really good having you on the podcast. Yes. Really, truly. Yeah. Excellent opportunity. Thanks, boys. Yes. Thank yeah, you very much for coming. Thank you. Yeah. It's yeah. been awesome. Uh, yeah. We will definitely be watching um, Scrubble. Uh, I'm actually very excited. excited. Yeah. It's it's actually, well, uh, no, no, no. Yeah. It's, it's, trust me, it's it's um, taking It's great. It's fantastic. Everything. And the, the, all the ads coming out. And all, yeah. It's wonderful. We'll track it all out. Definitely yeah. Scrubble. That sounds very Scrubble excited. Scrubble Stan. I'll be watching that. I definitely. I'm going to buy Stan just for that. Yeah. Fair, fair, fair. So, yeah. All right. Cool. Thank you you very much. It's been awesome. And that brings it to a wrap. Thank you, everyone at home, and have a good one. Goodbye. Cheers. Cheers. Peace.